Hi everybody and welcome to Jewel Family Farms. I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Um, we, we had a nice Thanksgiving. Uh, a lot of our family couldn't, we couldn't be together with them right at the moment, but um, me and my husband and one of my daughter's families got to come and join us for Thanksgiving and so we were very happy about that. My other daughter, she wasn't able to come because of um, just the things going on with the COVID and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, it was a, just the few of us here in our house. So anyway, we had a great time, had a lot of good food. And so I'm going to start off my Christmas um, series, I guess. And it's all about, of course, baking. And so my first thing that I'm going to... Uh, share with you all today is uh, it's a chocolate chip cookie recipe it's my sister's recipe and it's it's delicious I mean uh, we all love that recipe so I'm gonna do that one today so hope you join us okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cream our butter and our sugar together so we have one cup of softened uh, slightly melted butter Next thing we have is you're going to add one fourth cup of white sugar. Mix it up a little bit. We're going to put it under the blender, I mean, under the mixer in just a second. And let's see, three fourths of a cup of brown sugar brown sugar. It can be light brown sugar or dark brown sugar. I just happen to have dark brown sugar. It does call for light, but it'll just make your cookie a little bit darker, but that's okay. So three-fourths a cup of brown sugar. Now we're going to stick it up under the mixer, and we're going to cream these, all these sugars and butter all together. want to do it till they're incorporated pretty good. Scrape the bottom of your bowl some so make sure you got it all. It's not some of it sticking to the bottom of your bowl. All right <clears throat> now we're going to add we're going to add two and a fourth cups of flour and that's plain flour. One and one teaspoon of baking soda. And to that, we're also going to add one package of instant vanilla pudding. And we're just going to mix all that up. I think I needed a bigger bowl, but I'll make do. incorporate that a little bit and that has to be instant pudding so make sure when you buy your package it's instant all right we're going to pour that in do a little at a time These make a really nice cookie, really nice, soft, chewy cookie. And then to that, we're going to add, let me scrape the bowl some. We're going to add one package of chocolate chips.
Now these are not name brand chocolate chips. If you're trying to be a little more frugal and you need to make a lot of cookies and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, um, these work fine for me. They're off, they're off brand. They're not um, a name brand chocolate chip. Let me just pour that in. You can do this by hand also. You don't need a mixer to do this. Okay, so what I like to do with my pans is I want to put parchment paper in it, but I put a little bit of Crisco down here just to kind of hold it in place a little bit, or any kind of whatever you have. You probably can use spray too. Okay. size that you would like to have your cookies. You can roll them if you want to in your hand, make little balls out of them. These will spread out just a little bit. And you make them as big or as small as you want. just take them and roll them in your hands and make a little bowl and lay them in there or you can use a little scoop a little ice cream scoop or a, you know for a little little small one but anyway this is one way you can do it I'm gonna put a little bit more on that one all right I'm gonna pick them up and roll them these are just for my family. A little ice cream scooper will make them more uniform also. They'd be all the exact same size. If you're giving them for gifts or sell them at farmer's market or whatever you're doing. They all need to be the same size if you're selling them. But for just our house, just for my family, I just roll them and stick them on there. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Coming up on Christmas season already. It's just, this year has been something else and uh, I don't know even though we've had all the the chaos and things that's going on in this world and COVID and all that stuff and it's just flew by for me all right so we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to bake it we're going to do a we're going to preheat the oven and it's been preheated 350 degrees and we're going to cook these for um, about seven to eight minutes so i wanted to tell you this cookie recipe if your dough comes out to be a little dry like really dry it it depends on the flour that you use and of course your elevation and all that stuff you may need to add a little bit um, eat a little bit of um, water to it but I wouldn't add I, I would just do less than maybe an eighth of a cup 
and um, but you you can do that if you need to do that if you find your dough is just really dry because sometimes certain flowers that I buy they're extremely dry and you have to add more liquid than what the recipe calls for so I don't know why that is I guess it's just who manufactures you know the flour but if you find yourself in having to do that, yeah, I mean, if your dough is really dry, then yes, you can add a little bit of water to it to moisten it up a little bit so that you can work with it better. Okay, so while those are baking, I wanted to show you another idea that you can do with these cookies. Now, a lot of times, you know, like it's just me and my husband, we don't really want to have all these cookies, you know, um, laying around. And so what I do is sometimes I take them, let me show you. I'll take out a big piece of saran wrap and you know like those cookies that you can um, buy at the grocery store that that are in rolls well you can make your own rolls out of these and then you can either um, you can freeze them um, you can make a little if you just want maybe I don't know six cookies you would freeze probably a little piece like this or if you want to just you know save it for when you want make cookies for a party or and you just don't have time to bake them but you have time to make your dough and you just want you can put it in the refrigerator for a few days and then just pull it out and cut them up and bake them you can do that um, so you just kind of make like a little log you know like cookies at the grocery store and you just wrap them like that and you can put this in the um, freezer or you can keep it in the refrigerator for when you want to bake some fresh cookies you know even if you just want to bake them for yourself you know this will last probably I would I would think maybe six to seven days at the most um, but if you just want some fresh cookies for yourself you know and you just want them baked fresh and want them nice and warm then you know you can do this so there's a lot of things you can do with this recipe also, you can make this recipe up, and you don't have to bake them that day. If you want to set them in the refrigerator overnight, you can do that too. So there's a couple of things you can do um, with, these, with this cookie recipe. The other thing I would do if you're going to freeze this uh, log of cookies, make sure that you wrap it really well, and probably uh, you would want to either put it in a freezer bag or... Um, some freezer paper and then you know write on it what it is we have a lot of freezer paper it probably be a good idea to either put it in the ziploc bag or the freezer paper just to make sure that it doesn't get freezer burnt because saran wrap you can put it in the freezer for a short time but eventually it won't last too long in the freezer it's got some kind of freezer paper or zip or freezer bags it'll get um it'll get um freezer burnt just wrap it up in that This is a great idea for small families that don't want all those cookies laying around. Or you want to make all your dough up for a big party or whatever. And then just write on it chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. There it is. And that's ready to go into your freezer. So that's another, that's a good idea to do with that. Okay, so here they are right out of the oven. You don't want to overbake these cookies. You want them to be pretty soft to the touch. Okay? Because these are a nice chewy cookie. They are delicious. Best chocolate chip recipe I think I've ever had. 
I'm not just saying that. I mean it. My sister used to bake these for us all the time at Christmas and some of the other holidays, and the kids just loved them. And she made them one time for my Thanksgiving. Uh, when I had Thanksgiving at my house, and I had a lot of people over, and she baked these for the kids. And and we had some other kids that came that that weren't relatives of ours, but they they came over to spend Thanksgiving with us from uh, where I worked at. And um, Man, they love these cookies. So this is a really, really good recipe. I hope you try it. So, yeah, it's supposed to be, you know, really soft. That's what they look like. They're a little bit hot yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these cool for just a second while I put another batch in the pan. These only took seven minutes to bake. I put all that, I left all that uh, other batch that I put in the freezer paper, I put it in the freezer because I didn't want to have all these cookies, just me and my husband, so we didn't want all these cookies laying around. But I got grandkids next door, so I'll bake them and give them to them, they'll love them. This is a nice gift for somebody too that, that doesn't have time to bake or doesn't like to bake but likes to have a nice sweet at Christmas. All right, I'm gonna stick these in the oven. one of these cookies open. Let's just see what it looks like. I think it's, it's still pretty hot, but they are really, really tasty. They're really soft, as you can see. They're just chewy. I can taste one yet. It's kind of warm. That's a delicious recipe. Everybody loves it. That's tried it. So I hope you try this. Um, like I said, now this makes, I don't know how many dozen this makes, but it makes a, a lot. Let's look at the recipe to see if it tells how many dozen. If you make them smaller, they'll make a whole lot more. So, um, but I would say that they would probably make at least, I'm thinking two to three dozen, depending on how big you make them. All right, like that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this was twelve. This was a dozen right here at this size. So, if you make them smaller, you can get probably uh, at least three dozen out of it. All right, I hope you try it. I'll, uh, Put the recipe down below and um, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope you all have fun baking for this Christmas holiday. And count your blessings and we'll see you next time. Bye.